Hey guys, I know it's like two months before Christmas. It's technically like a month, uh, but technically speaking, the day I'm filming is like a week till, uh, till like November, and then it's a month till December from November, but then it's kind of two months because December is basically like Christmas is like at the last days of December so yeah so basically what I have been working on are these pretty roses um I'll hold the camera up later but I kind of wanted to explain the process so these are origami roses you can make there are different types some are more complicated than others and the more complicated ones look more detailed obviously and look a bit more realistic However, I used the simplest one and you basically fold it and this tip here, you twist it and the bottom kind of pops upwards. So it's kind of like it becomes the shape of a rose and then these corners, um, they're actually straight. So there's four corners on each of these and then you just take a skewer or a limb stick of sorts and you roll downwards with them yeah and i was trying to make a bouquet for my friend but then i was like oh my there's so many and then also i didn't have like wires usually people can it, like if you use wires you can bend the top of the flower and then the flower will be okay and you're just bending it and then you stick the wires together like you wrap them together or another one is you don't use any sticks at all but i already glued on the stems the sticks that i was using for stems onto there so i was kind of like eh, already done and then people like they make this huge crumpled ball of like paper and they tape it all up and then they glue on the flowers individually and these flowers don't have any stems so they're just gluing them on and then they make a bouquet out of that but i wanted mine to be like you can take out the flowers but at the same time they can be in the bouquet so it's kind of really complicated and then i use barbecue skewer sticks so i couldn't really deal with it that much it was kind of like getting out of hand because I didn't know how to stick them together so they kind of fall out when I leave them like this so yeah so um one moment I'm gonna try to pick you guys up oh there goes my stand anyways it looks like this and I kind of I searched up what each color means so it's not like I'm giving random colors like I know what each color means. I didn't put purple. I think they said purple was more for fertility, uh, like usually given in baby showers. So I don't know. So I didn't use purple. And pink, pink can be for love, um, for like your partner. And I think it's also can be I forgot. It's like, it's like, you can give it to your partner, but it's more like it represents beauty. So I think, yeah, but yeah, I searched up what they all meant before I made them. Kind of went overboard and made this. So yeah, um, so the top part of the bouquet, like you can see the steps, the sticks right here. It's just I hot glued like. Right there, I hot glued the tips to the bottom. Um, and I used a regular white paper. Actually, I used an, a large origami paper before, but then I kind of ruined it. So I just ended up having the like a bigger one and rolling it because it seemed like these flowers wouldn't fit in properly because I kind of rolled that paper too small. So I ended up using a printing paper. And then I used an origami yellow paper outside and I put on this Christmas bow. Um, this is a very stiff bow though. So like once you tie it like this, it kind of ruins the shape. So you can't really 
you can reuse it like if you take it out but it's not really great so yeah so that's what i made oh my i just don't want it to be like i give it to my friend and then it starts falling apart because these these guys like to pop up and try to escape because they're not really tightened in so i don't know so scared and then this whole bag is uh this bag is of individual flowers i didn't really look too much into the colors for these ones like i just i knew what the colors meant because i already searched them up but i was kind of like i wanted to use pretty colors and give it to different people um i didn't have a lot of red anymore so um the only red i had was this dark red somewhere but yeah and here i'll show one okay i gave myself like a month's time to do this even though i got this in a day so i technically could have done this in a week but what happened was last year i drew things in a week and i wanted to draw things and then I scanned it, and I just drew simple animals for that. But then the year before that, I actually was drawing the people who I was giving the drawings to. So I was like, I would draw someone, and I would give that to them. But then it took, like, I only gave myself a week that Christmas too, so that I was like, drawing non-stop within that week and then it was super annoying because I was like rushing and it was stressful and I was like I don't give myself enough time for these things and also this year uh kind of end of August to September I drew like four or five uh Christian card um covers so I will use those for yeah, I will use those for my cards. And basically what I'm going to do is uh, scan them and then just print them all like, out as like copies because it's super annoying that like I have to keep... It's like there are a couple of ways you can do like cards and stuff. And usually I'm someone who likes to keep the original artwork, so I'll constantly, like, just print out things. Like, I'll scan them, and then I'll keep the original, and then I'll give out the copied ones that I printed out. So, yeah, so that's what I'll be doing. And um, for these individual ones, I think I'm going to figure out exactly who I'm going to give them to, and then I'll just write their names on the petals either that i'll do or i'll just keep them like this and then if someone else prefers a specific color i'll give it to them but yeah they look pretty and it keeps i don't like this like i'm not able to keep it in check because um some of them are pointy and the other ones aren't because i use a barbecue skewer so one of the sticks is pointy like some like half are pointy and then half are dull because the different sides of the skewers so eh, it's super bad because i can't stick them all in and then i struggled i kind of weighted it a little with a, a tiny piece of sponge but the sponge isn't that heavy so yeah struggles but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video um, I still have a lot to do, so I'll probably, like, make videos on, like, my process of this. I was also looking through my bags, and apparently, like, because two years ago, my dad gave me a big birthday party, and he invited a lot of people from church. So I got a lot of gift bags, but some of them say happy birthday, and most of them are pink. So... <laughs> I kind of feel bad because I was trying to find one that was big enough for like the bouquet and then I'm going to get my friend some other stuff and turns out it's not a great, it's not 
great because there's a, the bag that's the right size has hearts, flowers, and envelopes. And it looks like a Valentine's Day gift. <laughs> so, yeah, but I still have to work out all the details and then we need to buy gifts. And this year, I think my dad decided um, Costco ha actually has a lot of gift boxes. Um, there was tea, like different samples of tea in a box set and it came with like a mug. And then there was one with jam and it came with like a small plate. And there was one with like, and they're like sample size. And there's one with popcorn. So like there's like four or five flavors of popcorn four or five flavors of popcorn and then it includes like three two or three uh the powder the what was it called seasoning powders so like garlic butter and all of that and then there's dark chocolate cookies and most of them are like 20 and under so if you're looking for a good christmas gift check out costco if you have a men membership of course um because you need a membership to enter I think when I was younger, I really didn't know that you needed a membership in Costco because I was younger and I guess I didn't know. And usually grocery stores, you don't need memberships. So I was so confused until now and kind of figured it out slowly. But yeah, um, basically they do have bigger gift sets. I think they're more expensive though. And they also have like, beer chocolate so it's like liquor chocolate but I was gonna get it for my friend but then I was like it's more sugar than even like I think it's the same amount of sugar as other chocolates and I was gonna get him a dark chocolate cookie set because it's less sugar he's not supposed to have a lot of sugar so I'm figuring out things as I go it's very hard to shop though because most of the stuff there I have to say when I went there a lot of the cookies and treats that you can buy for Christmas are actually they have peanut butter they have butter they have nuts in them so peanut butter and all that type of stuff and they have different nuts like almonds and pistachios and pecans and to me I start freaking out when I see nuts because like I'm not allergic personally but my friend is and every time I don't know why I think of him so I'm kind of like I don't want any like because I used to bake stuff for him and it's kind of like I avoided buying anything with nuts so that way I wouldn't contaminate when I was baking in my house. But I think over time, I just got used to like making sure that things don't have peanuts. But I'm not allergic myself and I love peanuts. But I think I kind of stopped eating a lot because of my friend. But at the same time, it's not something that... It's not something that I can't live without. So it's okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm very like sensitive to these things. So yeah. But anyways, that's it for this video. Um, I'll keep doing like different progress works on like these Christmas gifts and processes of where I am. But so far, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. My next video will be a drawing video. So yeah. Bye.